So let's talk about the self-healing resiliency. The ability, like in, for example, with our 980, our new ProLiant DL980, an eight socket box, this box has the ability to isolate failures and map those failures out and limit the impact to a particular application area or in the case of virtual machine with the 580, the 680, the 620, the 980, we've partnered with Intel to be able to actually map out the memory dynamically, restart the virtual machine to keep all the others running. And that's a significant benefit if you've got 30, 40, 50 virtual machines on a scale-up server. It's industry first. And that's only in ProLiant G7. So that improves availability, but it gives real world benefit to you to keep your infrastructure up always. Power on once, and it's always on. The second area is around balanced, scalable systems. Mapping the incredible processing performance that AMD provides in their new processor technology that Intel is providing with their new processors and balancing that with I.O. and the rest of the system so that you can scale. Because in the end, when you look at, this is a great example of an industry standard kind of virtualized environment requires a certain amount of memory per virtual machine and a certain amount of I.O. per virtual machine. And that I.O. needs to be able to go to the SAN as well as the Ethernet. It needs to go to the storage as well as the LAN, if you will. And when you kind of map that and look at the scalability and what we've done with our flex fabric technology, with our memory expansion, in concert with these new processing technologies that are breakthrough and multi-core, you can get more virtual machines than any other server on the planet. The new BL620 is the world's most scalable two-socket server, period. And, and what that means for you is four times the number of virtual machines, but it also means reduced licensing costs. It means that you have less maintenance and less servers to do the same amount of workload. So integrated and balanced architectures are critical, and you will see that across the board as I show you these servers. And then finally, innovations and common standard modular building blocks that we can use our resources very effectively to deliver you the world's best innovation. Whether the genesis of that in innovation comes from a joint project with a partner, or it comes from HP Labs, or industry, the bottom line is with our modular architecture, we're able, when you deploy ProLiant, you're able to rapidly upgrade to the latest technologies. And I'll just kind of give you some of that example. But with our thermologic and power pooling technology that's part of our data center smart grid, 96% improvement in power and cooling since just a few generations back. So since compared to our G4 servers, that's significant. And that's part of the ROI that we can achieve. Faster deployment in a tenth of time and then 800% improvement in ILO 3. That's awesome. So your virtual media, always accessible servers, being able to play back on any G7 server, the boot sequence or the, the sequence of failure that you might have had on a particular server, it's always stored there. You can get into that and actually have multiple administrators look at that server simultaneously from around the world and see what happened using our ILO technology, our integrated lights out technology. So great advancements in this technology. So we have 10 new servers. But rather than me go through this slide, what I really want to do is come over here and as Dave kind of showed you a little bit, I really want to show you some of these servers and, and take you through what